Yeah, it's your boy Mike. I'm back, and I'm gonna talk about my experience working for like working for Food Line and how my experience was working there. I worked for Food Line for like two years, um, produce, and like the one I worked at is actually a smaller store, and um, I got there. I was hired by my manager named Corey, which he was a young guy, probably a little bit older than me. You know, he was kind of immature, but he was a cool dude. And I got there and started working, and he was like, yeah, man, I like the way you work and shit. So he was like, man, he was like, I want to make you into my full-time produce guy because the guy that's full-time, he don't really do what I asked for him and shit. I'm like, all right, cool. So, um... Over the like next couple weeks, he started giving me more hours. He'll cut his hours down. And this dude had so much pull. His wife worked at the store another county over. And she was the manager of her produce. She would give me some hours over there. I'm like, all right, cool, man. I don't mind that. And anyway, he hung out with the meat manager. And um, people were complaining about the meat manager, you know, treating his, treating his um, employees bad and all that shit like that. I'm like, you know, so they called, um, no, first what happened, the full-time guy came up to my manager, he was like, yeah, man, like, why my hours getting cut, man, like, this is, this is against food line law, I'm about to lose my house, this and that. I'm like, all right, you know, um, he told me what he said and shit, he's like, no, fuck that dude, man, like, you gonna be my full-time guy, man, he said, you do the work better than any goddamn ways. I'm like, all right, so, um. Call H and the people call somebody, you know, after that, as you keep calling H and R complaining, they will come. And when they come, they had a lot of evidence on my produce guy and the meat market guy, the which they transferred to another store. But instead of transfer, they quit. They quit and shit. And I can remember the first thing he told me, he was like, Look, man, he was like, don't tell over, man. I was like, I ain't gonna tell him because you did so much for me and shit. And he was like, yeah. He like, you know, man, you ain't gonna get as many hours as you used to get. I was like, yeah, man. You know, me and my mind said, you know, this was like the fifth month. He was like, I was like, man, you know, I'll make the best of me and shit. All right, cool. So we worked there for another couple months, just me and the produce guy. They didn't have no fucking managers or nothing like that. They had no managers. They ain't had no managers. They already knew who the fuck they were gonna hire. They was just waiting on them. Man, just came in. He was cool. Like, he a real cool dude. Like, I fuck with him shit. Like, I still talk to him. I mean, I ain't been still talk to him, but we friends on Facebook. I ain't got no bad words from him, nothing like that. It just shows how the store manages, how they mind things. Anyway, started working there his first week. He was like, yeah, this is the normal hours you get. You know, about 25 hours, 27 hours. I'm like, yeah, that's about the range I get. Like, all right, I'm going to keep it around that range. All right, cool. Next week. 15 hours. Next week after that, cut my hours even lower. So I like, fuck it. I'm going to show them that you ain't going to find so many good workers in this little small ass town called Kim. So, went out and got a second job working at a fucking factory. I worked there for like two or three weeks. You know, the girl that worked in cashier, she was like, she was a, a, a fourth man, but like, she was the type of girl, she would come in and cry for hours and then call out every single day. This is the type of girl she was and shit. So, um, did that shit. And came in, he told me, he will like, she's like, call, she will text me like, man, you want to work my hours? I was like, yeah, so I did that shit for about like three weeks. Came to me like, yeah, man, like, I'm, I'm kind of tired of her, man. Like, she keep calling out, she won't let me know nothing. She won't respond back to her business and shit. I'm getting your hours cool. Came in this day, she never came back to work. So, you know, kind of build my relationship with the manager and shit like that. Cool dude and all that shit. Cool dude. And then Jeff, he type, he one of them white dudes that talk a fucking lot. And I'm like, man, like, you talk all that. Like, sometimes shit gets on your fucking nerves. But I dealt with it. So, um, around this time, my old manager, his wife started working at Harris City. He wanted me to work at his hair too, but his hair too is too far. So he was like, man, go to my wife's hair too. All right. I went to interview and everything. And like, she told me, like, yeah, I get you work day shifts, this and that. Like, you can move up because I know how you work. You work good. I'm like, cool. 
around this time, this is when like me and my man, new man just started get like kind of like kind of cool and shit. He was like, yeah, you know, I'ma um give you hours back. Fast forward a couple months went on. My full time guy, he was talking. He was like, yeah, he said, did you know that that girl? She just did quit. She actually got fired. And I was like, damn, I ain't know that shit. I said, that's probably why he was so ready to give me the hours back. He didn't really want to give me the hours. He just want to give me back because I was there. And I was dependable and shit. So, you know, it made me feel some type of way and all that shit. So, I started working at the A-Rad store at nights. And uh, this around time, you know, they started to cut. That manager started to cut hours real bad. I didn't really have, like, the store managers and all this shit. They want shit. They want nothing. They only like fuck with people they like working with. They don't like fuck with people that, you know, kind of know what they're doing and shit. They like people, they like yes man. They don't like people that like have opinions and shit. So, you know, I started feeling the stove. And once um, my friends left, I was like, fuck it. I left and shit. And, um, you know, I, food line was cool, but like, here's some things I hate about it. Like, you get paid every two weeks on a Wednesday. Can't make no bills off of, can't pay your bills off of that. Like, as soon as you get paid, money goes straight right to bills. And what you got left? Not shit. You have money one week, you be broke the next. And mainly, you only gonna have money for like four days because you gotta pay your bills and shit. So you got a whole week and two days before you get paid and shit. So that shit was a kill. And then, um, you cut hours, like, whenever you get like, 40 hours, then the managers, they want to start cutting hours down to where you just get about 31 hours and shit. So I came in one day, and I was like, yeah, man, after December in 2019, I was like, man, after December, man, don't put me back on sketch, man. I'm just going to find somewhere to go to. I've like, been here for two years. I ain't really got that much of a pay raise, and I have not moved up in the company. They were like, yeah, man, the only way you really move up if um a position opens up at the other store and you got to go there and stuff. I'm like, cool. Well, what happened, you know, you might you might wait a couple months for a position to open or you might wait a couple years for a position to open. And then the food line that it might open at might be an hour away and shit like that. And I stayed near like five food lines and they don't really have openings like that. So I'm like, man, like, it's like, this company, man, like, there's no way I'm going to move up. So I'm like, I might as well just leave and go somewhere where I can. And shit. And that's what I did. Every other store, probably worked for companies, but like, they ain't going, they don't want nobody American really running cash register. They just give you the shit they don't want to. So, um, when I look for jobs, I look for jobs where I, I know I can move up there, because I'm a good worker. I know I can move up. So, you know, ain't no need to stuck my growth and shit like that. But, like, down here, where I'm at, in the slow, in the smaller, smaller cities and towns, it's like, um, some companies, you know, they do you right. Some companies, they just, like, just want to keep you where you at. And, um, if you've been at the same, doing the same thing for, like, a year or two, man, ain't no need to keep doing it. Just go on, go somewhere where you can improve yourself and move up and make more money. Because at the end of the day, that's all it's about, you know?